Welcome to the Boys Podcast with me, Malcolm, Neil and Thomas Saliba. Good afternoon and welcome to the first official podcast of Ill Boys Podcast. With me, Malcolm, and my friend, Thomas, also known as Eggzone. Hello, Thomas. Hello, this is Eggzone, and on today's episode, we will be talking about two-faced people and drama in general. So, yes, uh, Thomas, if you'd like to start that episode, uh, that that, uh, part of the speech. Yeah, I I think it's a very imp- imp- important sub uh, subject to be discussed to face people because especially if you're a teenager, you think you know you think you know your friends, but sometimes you don't, and they might do things behind your your back w- without you knowing. Yes, thank you, Thomas. There is also the possibility of trust. Trust issues are now very common with the with these kind of uh, people. Don't you agree, Thomas? Yes, we have experienced something like that recently. Yes, and uh, also friendship drama. Now I'd like to pick up that topic. Yes, friendship drama. It's a, a very, very common thing, unfortunately, in today's generation. They cause they cause problems and make a fuss on things that are not really problematic, while also causing large amounts of stress within a group of friends. Don't you agree? Yes, and it usually and most of the time it's unnecessary. Thank you, Thomas. About that, now. I'd like to move to uh, social media because this is a part of drama and two-faced people. I think that, um, and you will agree with me, I think that social media plays a very vital role in this. Yes, social media, especially Twitter. If you go to Twitter, there's always drama. People creating problems and unnecessary issues. And also, social media has taken over our kids' lives, and they have become uh, phone addicts as a result. And because of that, there's even more drama, not just on Twitter, but uh, on uh, different kinds of platforms of social media. Yes, and and it's causing our uh, today's children to be uh, antisocial. Which also may result in, uh, as it described, the age of sadness. Yes. Unfortunately, there are a lot of kids which um, get bullied on uh, social media, get picked on on social media. And a lot of kids that don't know how to talk to people in real life because, because they don't know how to. That may also cause some issues when, uh, unfortunately, finding employment. Yes. Because if you don't know the proper technique, the proper way of talking during an interview, it's very difficult to yeah, find. And, 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 there, and most of the time, schools don't usually teach. Not many schools do it. Not many schools tell you how how to do it during an interview. Unfortunately, which is very important. Unfortunately, it's a it's a harsh reality that we are uh, we are living in, where sometimes, actually, most of the time, schools don't teach you these sort of things. You have to experience them by yourself. And. Um, some people are not even experienced in this field. Some people just uh, have no yeah. idea. Yeah, you, you, yeah. Uh, today's generation kids might meet with someone of their family that they barely know and they wouldn't know how to talk to them. So they would say weird things that make no sense in a serious conversation. And this could result in drama yes 
Okay, thank you, Thomas. Now I would like to pick the uh, topic of relationship drama. Yes, unfortunately, because um, some people, as you said before, have no experience of speaking to other people. It might be Maybe also, it might be yeah. also hard for them to actually find or stay in a solid relationship. Most of the time, modern generation teenagers uh, go uh, go to online dating, which, in my opinion, is not really the the best way to find your spouse because you don't know how the person looks like and the person behind the camera might also be using a voice changer. It could also the be... Only, the only way it could work is if both, uh, both people are determined to actually meet each other. That is why face-to-face -face is always better than online. But unfortunately, a lot of people are falling prey to uh, scams online where they pretend... Yeah. Pretend to Especially be someone. on Tinder when there's a lot of uh, Niger, usually from Nigeria and Africa, they pretend to they pretend to be girls or sometimes pretend to be boys to scam victims that and, are desperately looking for love. And unfortunately, it's not on that website only. There are other websites like uh, Facebook or Discord where uh, people have been falling prey to these. Even Instagram, um, fake profiles, fake accounts have been created. So one must be careful when on the internet. Yes. Now, before and most people that try to ex in our modern generation to do a face to face uh, relationship, it usually doesn't last long because they don't know how to talk to each other. Which is really problematic in this, uh, in this, uh, in this era. Now, before we continue, I'd like to announce that we have an official website. It's http illboyspodcast.blogspot.com And we also have an official email, illboyspodcast at gmail.com, where you can send us suggestions on uh, what to talk about in the upcoming episodes and and on this and this episode is also going on my youtube channel to promote the podcast yes uh, we're uh, we have um, a collaboration with exone that um, the podcast will be going also, not only on the official website, but also on Exxon's channel. Yes. And the last topic I want to talk about is international affairs. Now, as you know, there, the world is basically now all full of two-faced people. Yes, a lot of people are greedy. A lot of people want more money. As seen with the coronavirus, it was all planned. And unfortunately, unfortunately... It was literally created to, to destroy the economy of the western side of the world. And unfortunately, unfortunately it did. To some extent, it did, some, it did damage. Not just yeah, and, and, and not just economical, it also damaged the way pe people act. It not only damaged, as my as Thomas said, um, economically, it also damaged people emotionally. I would even yes. go to say some people died because of uh, the because of uh, mental issues rather than because of the virus. This is this is why two-faced people, uh, two-faced people are dangerous because they can change your thought. They can literally make you do things you don't even think about. And uh, and very recently happened. Uh, I think last year or 
the year before. Um, well, uh, the Rus the Russian, the Russian Ukrainian war has caused a big impact on Europe and uh, the U.S. and Canada. Yes, because of uh, because of someone's ignorance, uh, now millions of people are uh, basically facing this problem Struggle. every day. They're struggling with money and. And, and power. cost of living going up uh, everywhere. And there's also rumors that uh, because of the of where uh, Iran being defeated by the U.S. that they might actually send a nuke to the U.S. I don't know if any of this is true, but it but I heard this rumor. Which um, it would be bad with the current war is going on. I think. They should uh, sit down and have a talk about it and maybe try and fix this issue so that at the end of the day, no more lives are lost. Yes. And less money and, and less people end up without a job. <sighs> yes, employment is a topic that we will uh, pick up in a future episode of the podcast. For now, uh, that is all. I hope you everyone enjoyed this uh, short podcast. And this is Exxon with Malcolm, and we're signing out.